Oh no, with less than half a month until the end of this year, 2024 is quickly approaching. Currently, the International Space Station and China's recently launched Chang'ong Space Station are the only two human space stations orbiting the Earth. However, the ISS has been in operation for more than 20 years and will be demolished in 2030. The remaining time is really important to find a substitute. So NASA and the space industry are developing new stations to replace the International Space Station. But how will these new stations look? What role do they play in humanity's long-term goals? We'll discuss four next-generation space stations from leading companies in the field in today's episode of Tech Map. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. On December 6th, NASA celebrated the milestone mission that docked the first two International Space Station modules. In the run-up to the event, the agency revised its request for private proposals to assist in the deorbiting of the station when it retires in 2030. In addition, preliminary funding for several commercial replacements run by private companies with NASA as a customer is underway. The agency wants all of these vehicles to be ready by the end of the ISS's mission. So, can you figure out who comes first on this list? Yes, that is, indeed, Starship. Back in time, in September 2023, a NASA document that was discovered revealed an unfunded Space Act agreement between the organization and SpaceX for preliminary design reviews that look it into the possibility of creating a commercial space station from the Starship. Even though it's just a theoretical concept, the idea of using Starship as a space station is intriguing because of how big the vehicle is. Starship is comparable in size to the old space shuttle's external fuel tank. When compared to the spacecraft itself, humans seem like tiny creatures. The SpaceX Starship is 9 meters in diameter and 121 meters long. Its cabin is more than 1,000 cubic meters. While the ISS has a total internal volume of 935 cubic meters, Starship is a bit larger. It has a liftoff mass of 11 million pounds, about 5,000 metric tons. For comparison, the International Space Station has a mass of just under 1 million pounds. The Starship is enormous and has plenty of space. Bedrooms for astronauts to rest in, laboratories for scientists to conduct experiments in, production rooms for workers to manufacture products in, and entertainment rooms for astronauts to enjoy themselves and chill in. Starship also has other functional rooms such as restrooms, dining rooms, medical rooms, and so on. A Starship can be launched into low Earth orbit for an affordable price. The price of the Starship has not been publicly disclosed by SpaceX, but it will probably cost around $2 million per launch, which is considerably lower than the price of other rockets on the marketplace. Elon Musk claims that the cost of these ships will fall to $20 million per ship, essentially free, for space stations with more than 20 years of orbit. It is estimated that the total cost to operate the ISS is up to $150 billion, and if the cost was right, you could link tons of these ships together into a big ring of about 20, all spinning slowly around to create a gravitational effect force. The less costly launch cost of the Starship is primarily due to its disposable design, which enables the spacecraft to be reused multiple times, significantly lowering the total expense of each launch. In addition, Starship is made to be more capable and potent than other rockets. It can travel farther and carry heavier payloads than other spacecraft because of its enormous size and strong engines. This makes it a desirable choice for clients wishing to launch payloads into space, whether they are government or commercial. Well, if it works, it will be a cosmic masterpiece. Based on the recent IFT-2 flight and the design reviews of Starship-derived space station-related technology being conducted by NASA, we're betting SpaceX's commercial space station has a lot of capabilities to succeed. 
The second space station on this list that I want to mention is the Axiom Station, or called ISS 2.0. The best way to build a new space station was to begin with an old one. NASA wants to make the ISS available for commercial use. Axiom Space has used this opportunity to construct their space station, the Axiom Station. Axiom Space intends to build its future space station by first attaching it to the International Space Station, then detaching from the ISS to become its space station after all modelists are connected. Following the completion of preliminary and critical design reviews in collaboration with NASA, Axiom's partners at Thales Alenia Space began welding and machining activities for the primary structures of Axiom Station's first module. The first pieces of fabricated flight hardware are beginning to come together. Axiom Space is preparing for a 2026 launch of the first section of the next generation platform that will operate in low Earth orbit. Axiom's first station component will attach to the forward port of the ISS Harmony module and serve as the springboard for the remaining pieces of the company's planned space station architecture. Axiom is planning to attach a second module in 2027 and a third module a year later. Finally, a thermal power module, scheduled for some time before 2030, will allow Axiom Space Station to detach from the ISS and become a free-flying, commercially-run low-Earth orbit destination. The next one we want to talk about is the Orbital Reef. Orbital Reef will be a low-Earth orbit private space station for commerce, research, and tourism. It is expected to be operational in the second half of the 2020s with a crew of 10 people. The collaboration of private space companies, each bringing their own set of expertise, makes this project possible. But it seems the Orbital Reef Space Station partnership between Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin and Sierra Space is in trouble. The companies announced Orbital Reef as a co-led project in 2021, but updates on the project have dried up over the past year. A pair of private space companies are now looking to end their potential partnership with Orbital Reef. Both companies prioritize their projects, such as Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lunar Lander and Dream Chaser spacecraft Sierra Space. It's becoming increasingly likely that Blue Origin and Sierra Space will go their separate ways leaving behind joint efforts to develop Orbital Reef. To the best of our knowledge, there is still very little chance that Orbital Reef will be selected as a new station. And finally, a new character is none other than Haven 1. With a target launch date of August 2025, Vast and SpaceX announced in May 2023 that they had inked a deal for the Falcon 9 launch of a module named Haven 1. A Crew Dragon mission named VAST-1 will come next, carrying four astronauts to the module for a maximum 30-day stay. SpaceX Starship will launch Haven-1, a precursor for the much larger space station's VAST plans to build. The module can be accommodated within a standard Falcon 9 payload fairing, measuring 10.1 meters and in length and 3.8 meters or in diameter. The 14-ton module will deliver 15 kilowatts of power and 70 cubic meters of pressurized volume. The orbit will sit at around 310 miles above the surface. The module has a docking port at one end and a large window at the other. The visiting crew's payloads and consumables would be launched with the module. The design's primary goal was to be simple so that it could be developed quickly and securely. If VAST succeeds, it will surpass competitors with NASA's support to build commercial space stations meant to replace the International Space Station by the end of the decade. Over the coming decade, humanity is poised to witness the launch of four groundbreaking space stations. These stations hold the keys to unlocking fresh opportunities in science, tourism, commerce, and collaborative ventures casting a dazzling vision for the future of human presence beyond Earth. These space stations will kindle the imaginations of the next generation of explorers and visionaries in the cosmic expanse. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space-important updates.
Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high-quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.